from the city of Jackson, Department of Engineering, Troy White. Troy, welcome back to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Yeah, uh, great to see you. And we've had uh, just a great spell of uh, beautiful weather, which I would imagine. Uh, well, we had some, if you remember, we had some big rains. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're getting all our rain in, in uh, big chunks. We're not mm -hmm. getting small rains, but for the most part, it's been good for construction. Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, people, <coughs> we're still uh, drying out from that. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. So hopefully, uh, as they say, it's a 100-year flood, and uh, we're not going to see it again for another 100 years. <laughs> we seem to get it more on more, don't we? Yeah. All right, well, a day like today uh, delayed the start of uh, construction a little bit, but uh, they're out, out working, and they've got, we've got four uh, projects we're going to check in okay. on today. And we're going to start on Elm, which uh, between North and Fleming over by yeah. the uh, park. I think we talked about this last time I was here. Um, you know, it's not moving along as quickly as we would like it, but we're getting close. Mm -hmm. um, this is basically a, a pavement replacement project. I don't know if you recall, but the pavement, uh, it was bad, yeah. you know, with, uh, with long open cracks and potholes. So um, we've done some curb repairs. We've updated the uh, sidewalk ramps, they're compliant. And um, you know, they're out there today grading the, the gravel and getting ready to pave. We're hoping to uh, pave either late this week or early next week. You know, one thing I've noticed, and this is amazing, when you, do, when you redo a, a street or a road, the property owners, uh, they step it up. They, uh, suddenly their landscaping improves mm. and they, they just kind of go with it too. Or maybe it makes you notice their, their houses a little more. That you know, when you be. clean up that street, yeah. it makes everything look nice, you know? Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. it's probably, probably, probably some of both, right? Both. It takes, yeah, yeah. It takes a village. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next we're uh, headed to uh, Burr uh, from Cooper to uh, Waterloo. Ah. Uh, and that, that one's just a uh, water main replacement. You know, we've talked before about um, we've got an antiquated water system. A, lot of, a large part of it is. Um, and some of these mains, like on Burr, are actually four inches in size. Mm -hmm. Um, they're made out of cast iron. They're from the 1920s, so they're um, undersized. They have corrosion in them, which which doesn't help with water quality. So we're replacing all those four-inch water mains with new eight-inch pipe, and then we're replacing all the lead services to each house. Uh, most of these houses that are on these old 1920 water mains are have lead services. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, you replace the water main, you replace the services, and basically uh, improve fire flows down in those neighborhoods. Improve operating pressure, improve, improve water quality. So that's what's going on. Um, like on Burr, the part you're looking at right there. Concrete. Um, well, no, it's just the, the work is being done to minimize the impact to the pavement. You know, where it's not a complete street reconstruction, it's just a water main mm -hmm. replacement. So, you know, some of the water main was drilled into place and some of the water main was trenched in, but unfortunately you're not gonna see a, a, a new road, but you're gonna have, uh, the water system's gonna work a lot better down in there. So residents, uh, how soon will they notice uh, an improvement on? Uh... Um, as soon as we hook them up, mm -hmm. you know, you know when they uh, they put in a new it, it, the process is they put in a new water main while the old one is in place, and then as they after they test the new water main, make sure it's safe, it doesn't leak, they start hooking um, houses over from one pipe to the other one. Mm -hmm. Is on that day when you get hooked over, you're probably going to see some improvement. So they lay a new uh, water main right next to the old one? Well, somewhere in the street, yeah. but it's parallel. Yeah. And so, you know, there's a week or two period while they're, while they're connecting everybody over where there's actually two water mains out there. So will they think, uh, oh, this water tastes so much better? Or wh where will they notice it the most? You, um, often you're going to notice, the, if you're on those small water mains, you're going to notice it most in operating pressure. You're going to be able to turn on the, uh, the, the mm. sink or the faucet and you're gonna get a lot more water coming out. Nice strong shower, shower. nice strong right. shower. Yeah. Right, <laughs> All right, I mentioned uh, we're looking at uh, trails in addition to uh, streets, and we've got the continuation of work on the uh, MLK Equality Trail. And that, uh, I think Yeah, this... we know we've talked about this before, you know, we're about two thirds of the way through a program to rebuild the trail. The, mm -hmm. the original trail, I think, was that was first done in 1992. It was built with uh, asphalt. Really? It's that old? It's wow, that old. Man. I know it was after, yes, it was about 1992. 
and they just put a single layer of asphalt over the old railroad bed and uh, it served its purpose but um, you know things shifted and things have moved so um, and the pavement's deteriorated so mm -hmm. we rebuilt it with concrete we brought it up to uh, standard and um, that's what you're looking at we still got uh, a couple more phases to go over the next year or two to to finish it out what's that vault thing that actually is uh, another project being done at the same time oh. that's not part of our project it's a project by consumers to um, repair a gas main oh wow so uh, you know consumers contractor and our contractor they're just working with each other and staying out of each other's way all right we've got there's one. a uh, there's a gas main that runs um down the edge of the uh trail really um huh. so that, uh, and that's just a repair that they need to do on that hmm. all right now uh one more uh street to look at dale is under construction what's happening here? yeah dale it's another one where we we're talking about the undersized water mains hmm. it's one of our neighborhood streets and um just out there upgrading that four inch water main to an eight inch pipe, getting rid of those lead services and uh, you know, improving the water system out there. This is, um, you know, Deo and Burr are part of a bigger package of about eight or nine local streets where we were replacing the water main and uh, throughout the city. We've got uh, Bailey, Bailey Excavating, we've got that contractor and uh, they're just picking away at them. Um, and uh, we, we packaged them all together, those eight or nine jobs all together. Mm -hmm. The idea being, uh, you know, you make more work, you kind of get uh, better prices. So um, this year we're doing eight of them. Next year we're doing another eight under a separate contract. But, uh, you know, this is phase one. Next year will be phase two of these uh, four-inch water main replacements. You get the Bailey quantity discount. Well, that's the, that's the idea when you yeah. bid it. That, you know, if you bid eight contracts versus one big one, mm -hmm. it's going to cost you more if you do them one by one, you know. So, rough guess, as a percentage of um, lead-based service lines uh, that will be done, say, by the end of this year? You know what? I, I, um, I'm hesitant even to really? guess a percentage. You know, we've we got a ways to go. we got a ways to go. Yeah. And, um, like, with our water jobs, we're constantly picking them off. You know, if we're doing eight separate projects here, we're going to pick up, you know, 100 and something this year. Mm -hmm. Our... Um, our uh, DPW guys, they're out there working every day on them and they're picking them off. So um, we've kind of got a double effort going right now and uh, probably be even ramped up in the future. You've already got blueprints going for uh, things next year and even further down the road. Oh yeah, like, uh, like I was talking about that other, the next phase of the four inch water mains, yeah. we've actually already bid it. So uh, that way we have time for the contractor to uh, order the materials and get them in and get ready to go. Awesome. Yeah. We appreciate uh, the great work that's making our uh, city uh, better, and both uh, aesthetically and safe safety. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. It's been good. Our uh, across the street neighbor, Troy White from the city of Jackson, Department of Engineering. It's time.